I don't know if I confirmed it. I do know that there is a patient that was transferred from Southern Regional Hospital to Carl Yushner, um, with the presumptive diagnosis of dengue. And I believe she had an underlying disease pegged to the dengue. Um, but I don't know that that has been confirmed. I actually just got an email late last night to say that the patient that had been transferred is the one that had died at Carl Yushner. But I don't have the full clinical report of that, nor do I know if an autopsy was asked for or is being entertained. So it's not a death, it cannot be recorded as a death as a result of dengue so far? Um, it depends on what the death certificate will say because that becomes your official document. If the doctor is able to put that, then that becomes the diagnosis. Um, so you can have all the clinical suspicion lab exams that would have suggested it is dengue. Um, if you don't know, then you would have to rely on an aut autopsy to see whether it's a confirmed dengue death or not. Now, I, as I understand it, in this particular case, uh, the patient deteriorated rather quickly as Southern Regional. Um, there was an attempt to airlift her. Um, we are not using bird services right now. There's some other complications in that regard. Uh, and when she was being initially transported, she had to be brought or kept back a couple of hours more to stabilize her. You don't want to put anybody in, up in the air and, and then it becomes complicated up in the air. Uh, she was finally airlifted, I believe, after one o'clock. Um, so that was part of, of also the process. You can't transfer a patient that is not stable mm -hmm. or you try to put the patient in the best conditions before you're able to airlift them.